Hi, this is Reggie with Stupid Raisins. In this video, I will show you how to clear disk space in Final Cut Pro. So let's get it on! We're now on Final Cut Pro. The very first thing to do is select your library and go to the right side of your library properties. This is where you can see all of the information about your library. As you can see, there's a memory hub right here. Our optimize and proxy takes 72.9 and 12.2 gigabytes. So our total library is 85.2 gigabytes. That's a huge amount of memory. So the first thing to do is select the library, go to file and go to delete generated library files. Be sure you select the library or else the options will be different. Let me show you. If I select the event right here and then I go to file, the option is different. It says delete generated event files and that's not what you want. What you want is delete generated library files because that's what takes a huge amount of storage in your Mac. Okay? Okay? If this video has been helpful to you, go ahead and hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. Okay, now let's select our library again. Go to file. Go to delete generated library files and then select delete render files, select all, check delete optimized media, select delete proxy media, then hit OK. Look at this. This is 85.2 gigabytes. It will be less in no time. After that, you should restart your Final Cut Pro. Okay, so the deletion will take effect. Okay, now let's close our Final Cut Pro. Okay, now let's open Final Cut Pro. Look at that! That's a very huge improvement, eh? From 85.2 to 3 gigabytes. Nice, eh? Nice! There you have it. You now gain more space to your Mac. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something today. But if you want to learn more, I've made another video about how to sharpen image in Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out.